This, ladies and gentlemen, is a tiny cute little practice amp for bass with two channels with built-in Bluetooth and I'm so glad we have exactly the right basses here to demo such a mini setup. Okay, maybe we will use big boy basses, but uh, however, let's get started. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gregor Fries and today I'm accompanied by my buddy Frank It on bass. And here we have the Bad SM, which was sent to me by Joyo. Uh, I really love the black and green design, really cool. And I also love that they made it look like one of these old school tube amps and not like these super flat tiny mini amps, uh, class D obviously, that we see so much nowadays. And there's actually a tube in here, which might be one of the reasons. And yeah, this is a practice amp that you would use at home and uh, I think it looks really cool and this is something I could imagine using in my living room. What is really a surprise to me that this amp is even lighter than it is small. Uh, of course, it only delivers 50 watts at 4 ohms, which is not much. I mean, it's more than enough for your living room, but uh, it just means for the construction of such an amp, there's no big power amp in here. It doesn't need a big power supply. And then even the power supply is an external 24 volt thing, which you just put in your wall and then connect to here, which of course also adds to the weighing less of the amp. Now let's check the controls. On the front panel we have our bass input, a 3 band EQ with basses, mids and treble, a gain and a volume control and a compressor. The compressor is much more than just that. It's the second channel, it's the one with the tube and this one sounds very different from the first one. Channel number one is very clean and very direct, but the second one, the compressor one, behaves and sounds much more like an old school tube amp. <laughs> When the compressor is dialed in all the way in or most of the way in, it really crushes the dynamics of your playing of your sound, which I personally don't find to be a very desirable sound. But if you keep it like in the first half or even in the first quarter of the, of the way, it sounds actually very pleasant and very useful. You can either engage the second channel with the little switch on the front panel or you use the foot switch which comes with the amp. On the back we have a Bluetooth antenna which you can take off in case you never want to use Bluetooth to play music from a mobile device on your amp. On the right of that sits the input for your power supply, then we have the 4 ohm speaker out, we have a connector for the foot switch, a headphone out and send and return for an effects loop. Cool, I really like this. For such a cute little box, it's a surprisingly good sounding amp. The only thing I'm missing here is some sort of a line or DI out for recording. I mean, I guess you could probably use the send and go into a DI box and from there into an interface, but it doesn't sound very convenient to me. Uh, I personally, I would have gladly sacrificed the FX loop uh, for a DI out, even if it's not XLR. The Bluetooth option is here. It's cool. It works. It's there. So that's, that's a good news. You can just connect your phone, play your, some music and then play along to it, which is really cool. Um, I've, I've recorded some slight interferences which I believe come from the Bluetooth. Uh, you will be hear a little bit of this in the outro, uh, but uh, this was just a short moment. I'm not sure if this is a regular thing, so don't put too much weight into this. It's just something that I experienced while we were recording. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more bass videos and also smash the like button below to show the YouTube algorithm bot what's what's good, what's actually good, and then go ahead and buy some base to world match because that's what people do today, I've heard. See you next time. Bye bye.